What is going on guys, Greg Ellis TV. Did you know you can change your assistant on your phone? You can change it from Google Assistant to Cortana or uh, to Amazon Alexa, or if there's any other assistants out there that you can download from the Play Store, then you can change it to, uh, just to show you um, to how to change it. All you gotta do is go into your settings. So swipe down from the top, go into settings. Once you're in settings, tap at the search bar and search assistant. And then you'll see device assistant app. What you want to do is click on that. It's going to open up and then you're going to see device assistance app again. Tap that. And this is going to be where you can uh, change your assistant. Now you're not going to have these options for these assistants unless you download the apps. So you need to go into the Google play store and search for Amazon Alexa or Cortana. You'll already have enhanced Google services, which is Google assistant. Um, and again, you can see if there's any others. This is the only two I could think of. Uh, of, off the top of my head. I have it set to Cortana and just to give you an overview, I'm going to hit the home button and to use Cortana. Unfortunately, the hot keyword, like you would say, like with, okay, Google, uh, or, you know, Hey Cortana or Alexa, those don't work with it on the phone. So you have to use, uh, also, if you have like a squeeze function with the pixel phone, that doesn't work either. It still work with Google assistant, not with the other assistants. So what you're going to do is just press and hold the home button. What's the weather? And you can see it's pretty slow, Cortana. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't that impressed with the speed for this. Also, it can't play music, which I found pretty weird. Play Chad Valley. It just ended up giving me. It just ended up giving me a search result. I don't know. Maybe it's better in some cases, but it wouldn't play my music. So let me switch this over, the assistant anyway, to Amazon Alexa. And then hit agree when you change it. And when you sign into it for the first time, um, it's going to ask you to sign in with your Google account or your Microsoft account if you're using Cortana. So there is a few more steps to this, but once you choose it, it's really just step by step. So to use Cortana, uh, let's try Alexa. Hey, Alexa. Alexa. So that doesn't work, obviously. So now let's press the home button. What's the weather? In Chula Vista, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Today, you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 70 degrees and a low of 56 degrees. Okay, now let's have a play some music. Play Chad Valley on Spotify. Spotify music is not supported on this device. So it can't play Spotify, but I know it can play Chad Valley. Play Chad Valley. Shuffling songs by Chad Valley. So it plays it on Amazon Music, which at least it plays. It just doesn't play it um, on the <laughs> music app that you want. So that is how you change your assistant on your phone if you want to go back and change it back to Google. All you gotta do is go back into here and change it to Google, which I definitely will. I like Google better. It's obviously more full, full featured. I can do the, the hot word that way. I can, um, you know, if I had my pixel, I could squeeze the phone. I can press this button, the home button, uh, in order to get to it. So there's multiple ways. And obviously it's built directly for this phone. So guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let me know down below what's your favorite assistant to use on your phone. If you like using something else other than Amazon Alexa, uh, Microsoft Cortana, or Google, I'd be interested to know. And Or if you like one of those three, let me know as well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you down the road. Peace.